In today's video we are going to see how we use form repeat control. It is used in a form where we want the user to have a section of the form that they can fill multiple number of times. Let us take a small example and understand how we use this control. First let me take a text box and change the label to name. Then I will add a form repeat control. When I add A for repeat control, it basically adds a panel with an add more button. Let us consider a use case of expense report for this tutorial. So I will add another text control inside this for expense details. And a numeric control for the amount. Now what will happen is the user will be asked to enter his name and expense details and then he can press this add more button if he needs to add multiple expenses and this whole section will be repeated. Now let's go and create a sheet that we will use for accepting the values from this form. We will add two columns, one for the name, and another for the expense. For this column we will select the type as JSON column. This is needed to store the multiple entry of data entered by the user. Now we will select the add column option and we have the required rows. Now let us go back to our form. Next we will add a submit button. Now we need to work on pushing the data to the sheet. For this I am going to add a workflow. Select the form repeat screen and click on the plus icon. Now give this workflow a name and save. Now open the workflow. Add an update sheet task. Give a name to this task. Next we will select the sheet we just created. Select the insert record option. Now we see two columns here. For the first one column I will select the name control present in my form. And for the next column I will select the form repeat control. Click on done and the workflow is configured. And close this. Now we need to link the submit button to the workflow. For that I am going to select the button and here in the property section, from the select workflow drop down, I will choose this form repeat. Let us now preview our app. I will click this on so that we can submit and check. Now we will add some data to this form. Click on the more button and we see have another expense details panel and we will enter data into this. And finally click on submit. This prompt tells us it is successfully submitted. Let us go and check it in our sheet. Here as you can see the details have been submitted. I click here to view the object. This is the JSON view and here I can see the table view with two columns showing the details and the amount. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more videos visit our YouTube page.